Okay, I'm back, and um, my download has completed. Hopefully your download has uh, completed as well. If it is not, pause the video again and wait for your download to complete so that you can follow along with these instructions. So I'm going to close the download window, and I am going to close my browser. If you want to bookmark the location, uh, it's probably advisable just in case you have to come back. You got the wrong version. Uh, something happened. Um, so now I have a nice little icon on the screen up here, and uh, let me make this a little bigger. Here we go. Here's the icon that I'm looking at. And this is JDK 6U23 Windows I586. Um, so hopefully I've got the right version. I'm going to double click on it. We're going to run through the install. And you know, it's really simple, actually. It's just a matter of answering a few prompts. <coughs> Let me get this a little bigger. And do I want to run it? Of course, that's what I'm doing here. The installer comes up, gives us this nice little window, a little advertisement for Oracle. And uh, it's looking, it says, please wait. Uh, and it's actually, if yours sits there and says, please wait, please wait forever, and never comes, and you never see the next button, uh, non grayed out or selectable, I should say. That means you probably downloaded the wrong version. Sometimes it does come back and say, sorry, um, you know, after we've done a compatibility test and your system uh, is not compatible with this version. Uh, but that's actually what happens right there in the beginning. So now the wizard uh, says we can do the install. We're going to install the Java SE Development Kit 6, Update 23, and we're hit hitting the Next button to continue. Um, we want the development tools. Uh, that's a must. Let's keep the demo and the samples as well because the demo and the samples is this, this is going to give us our applet controls and uh, our applet viewer, excuse me. It's going to give us um, a bunch of stuff that um, we're going to want to use actually for the development tools and some sample projects and things. Um, if you don't have the JRE, you're going to get it. This is what I was saying before. You're going to get the standalone JRE. It'll probably be a more current version than what you already have. Don't worry about it. Just leave it right there. Uh, the source code is optional, but let's let's just leave it on there. What we don't need, we don't need the Java database. Um, that uh, We're not going to use any of the Java database features in this particular uh, in this particular video series and we're you're probably not going to use it in the future in fact you're probably if you're going to do anything you're probably going to download Oracle um, or MySQL or something the Java database is kind of still under development um, and uh, we don't really need it and it adds a lot of overhead so we're going to select this feature will not be installed on the bottom so what you should have on your screen you should have selected the uh, Development tools, demos, and samples are already selected for you. The public GRE, the one that has the X is the one that we're not going to use. That one is unselected. And then click on the next button. And uh, now it's going to generate uh, some scripts, it's going to remove some files, it's going to copy some new files in, yada yada. It's going to do a bunch of stuff here. We don't really care. We just have to kind of sit here and wait for it to finish. Most of this install does run fairly quickly. It will run a lot more quickly than it did to, to download it. Um, but um, I'm just going to kind of sit here. I don't think I'm going to pause the video this time. I think I'm just going to wait. And uh, hopefully it will come back uh, fairly quickly here. So When we uh, get past this particular stage, we're not quite done yet. So don't just cancel the video and say, hey, I'm all done. Um, no. We actually have to set some environment variables on your system. Uh, you have to reboot your system. Um, you, there's a, there's a few more things we're going to need to we're going to need to do. Actually, you may not necessarily have to reboot your system. You just have to follow through the video, and you'll you'll see exactly what you need to do. Um, but uh, this is uh, this is the easy part. The next part isn't what I'd call complicated. Uh, it's just kind of tricky. If you don't get it right, what ends up happening is your it doesn't look like anything installed. And as soon as this install finishes, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, you know, even though we've installed it, it's not working uh, because we have to make it work by changing some Windows configurations. Um, so, um, on a side note, you picked a good language to learn with object orientation. Java is 100% truly object oriented. 
um, that you cannot program in a non-object-oriented fashion like you can in, let's say, C or C++. Um, what just makes Java a distinctive uh, object-oriented language is the fact that everything is object-based. Um, it starts out with even Hello World being created as an object. Um, in fact, it's, it makes heavy use of all object-oriented features, as we're going to see throughout this video series. Um, whereby, you know, other programming languages like C++, you can actually get by without using classes, without programming in an object-oriented fashion. Um, which kind of, you know, it's kind of deceiving, I guess. Or, you know, you say, you say you're using an object-oriented language, but not really programming in an object-oriented fashion, so. So, no. Anyway, so what we're going to be looking at primarily in this course, though, is uh, creating classes, looking at inheritance of classes, one class from another, um, looking at you know, structures and uh, things in, in terms of object-oriented nature. And as soon as we get done with the install, the first, um, well, the first part of the second lecture gets into the concepts of object orientation, gives you a brief overview of all of the concepts that we're going to be looking at in this particular class. So I think we're getting done here. We are destination folder. Now we're, at, we're being asked about the GRE. Just select the defaults. That is my best advice for you, and I'm going to show you what happens, actually. Uh, so just click on Next, and uh, now we're installing the GRE. This was a fresh Windows XP install, and the GRE was not part of it. Um, so I decided I was going to start with a brand new, fresh Windows version. So I have to basically start from scratch, which is hopefully what you, you, you might be doing as well. So. This is going fairly quickly. It's almost done. Now it's removing files. Now it says it's finished. So it says it has uh, the SE development kit <coughs> has been successfully installed. So I clicked on finished. Now I come back. And here's the most disappointing part of the entire process. And actually at this particular point I can remove this. I can throw it away. So I'm putting it in the trash. This is the most disappointing part. There's absolutely uh, nothing. There's no evidence that it's been installed. Um, it, uh, well, I can see my JRE got installed because my um, Firefox web browser came up, wanted to know if I wanted to use the Java console in there. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to close that window. And uh, nah, it looks like Oracle put up a little registration screen. Uh, wanted me to register. I'm not going to register either. I'm just going to close everything down because I really just want to use Java. I mean, I don't want to go through anything else. But if I go to the Start menu, let me make this a little bigger so we can see what we're looking at here. If I click on the Start menu, I don't get anything. This is There's nothing on here that says anything about Java. So the only way I know that Java's been installed is if I go to the Command Prompt. I've got a little icon here for the Command Prompt. And uh, let me find my Command Prompt. <laughs> Hello. Uh, okay, let me make this a little smaller. Okay, there's my command prompt. All right, and uh, if you don't have an icon, don't have a menu option for it, you just type in CMD um, at a uh, the run the, at the window start run CMD. It'll take you to this particular window. At this point, if I type in Java C, and we don't know this yet, but this is the compiler. Um, we would compile our pro our program by typing in Java C. But if I type in Java C, I'm going to get that it is an, is not recognized as an internal or an external command, uh, which means it's not in my path, which means it doesn't run. This is going to be your most important step of the install. So what you want to do is first just open up a command prompt window and see if you've got it installed you know, like maybe it was on your computer from something else you did a while ago. I don't know. It'll tell you the version number, and we'll see in a few minutes what it's supposed to look like when we're all done. But we have to make some system changes. So if we type Java C in here, we get nothing, which is not a good sign. So I'm going to exit this window and proceed with the next step of this uh, particular install.